everyone and welcome back to my studio well I don't know about you but me the last week I've seen officially the cutest thing ever and I'm talking now about the baby Yoda oh my god how cute he is this is just this is just not normal it's really illegal to make characters that cute and I'm not even uh, the Star Wars fan myself I watched a couple of films of this series and also I watched them just because uh, we had a very cheap cinema right next to our university building when I used to be a student so we've spent really a lot of hours there watching sometimes two three films per day so that's why I watched quite a lot of Star Wars films as well but me myself I'm not really such a huge fan I know what is going on but oh yeah okay yeah it's cool but the baby Yoda I don't know as a person addicted to doll making of course my first idea was I must make this baby Yoda doll so here we are and today we're going to turn this LOL surprise doll into baby Yoda so let's probably open this package see what is inside how this doll looks but actually today it doesn't really matter what kind of a doll is sitting inside of this packaging because anyway I'm going to sculpt a completely new face around this already existing face and I'm going to paint this doll dark green anyway but anyway let's open this box let's complain about the packaging I know you're going to say but why why are you keep buying these dolls and keep complaining about the packaging because I bought five of them in the very beginning when I had no idea how it all looks inside I bought five lol dolls I've already customized three of them yes and I still have two of them left so this one is going to become a mini Yoda and another one will also become mini something I, have, I know already who it will be but I will not tell you yet so let's unbox it quickly and then we're going to start the transformation and while I'm working please don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit the bell button and of course like always support my art here on YouTube with your likes okay I've said everything and now we're going to start working on this doll So this is the doll I've got today and I think she's extremely cute. Honestly most of these LOL dolls are extremely cute and I especially like all these details. But yeah I'm sorry cute young lady I have completely different plans today. And now I'm going to remove her outfit again and then I will cut her hair very very short.
I cannot really go inside of this doll's head without destroying it completely. That's why I'm simply plucking out the rest of the short hair using my tweezers. And now I'm going to take pure acetone and I will remove her original face. So now our doll is fully prepared for the transformation and I'm going to start with sculpting a Yoda looking face around this doll's head using epoxy sculpt. And it looks very cool, I think. So I've let it dry for 24 hours and now let's mix some paint, some green paint to color our mini Yoda.
When I'm happy with the coverage of the green, I cover the face and the body with a couple of layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant. And then I start applying the shadows, the highlights, using my soft pastels and watercolor pencils. I've decided to not touch these doll's feet and hands, I know there will be comments about them, but I've decided to not go for realistic Yoda hands, you know, like these three fingers, kind of claw looking, I don't know how to call them, because these very realistic claws, I don't know, they would make this doll too spooky, because of this too tiny scale, too, I don't know, funny, dollish proportions, so I've decided to go for this kind of stylization. I will still work some extra on his eyes, but we will finish them a little bit later in the end of the transformation. And right now I'm going to move to the outfit and I'm going to sculpt it using the silk clay.
When the outfit gets dry, I cover it with brown acrylics and after this I cover it with two layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant and then add shadows to the outfit using soft pastels. Now the outfit looks good to me and I think I can finally finish the eyes. For this I will take this Lisa Pavelka magic gloss and I will also need this UV lamp that I use for drying my gel nail polish. This magic gloss is a special kind of an acrylic resin that becomes hard and kind of glass looking just after 10 minutes of being under UV rays. Unfortunately, there is not much sun in Belgium in winter, so this lamp has become approximately the only way to get access to UV rays for me at home. So, and this is how the eyes look in the end. I really love the effect of this very realistic and alive eyes. So, I think we can finally take a look at the end result pictures of my today's work. So, here is my mini baby Yoda and he is so cute. I don't know why, but all these tiny LOL dolls always look extremely adorable after a makeover and they always become my favorites and this one is just, it's not the exception. I was already completely in love with my little blue sadness doll, after this I was in love with uh, mini Kenny from South Park and now it's Yoda's time to be my favorite. But anyway guys, I will give you a little spoiler, I'm finishing now the next doll for the next week Friday and I think it will be my coolest doll ever so don't forget to subscribe to not miss it but anyway it's, I'm kidding of course but anyway subscribe but I still of course have to finish all the details maybe it's still too early to celebrate but anyway I think it's gonna be a really cool doll the next week so, and I would love to hear your opinions about my work today. I hope, of course, that you love it as much as I do. But, of course, we're all different, so write me everything you think about this doll, about my work in the comments under this video, and I'm looking forward to read everything. So guys, and that was my doll transformation of the week. I really hope you enjoyed it today because, I don't know, I had really extremely a lot of fun with myself today working on this doll. So if it was fun for you as well, please don't forget to hit the bell button, subscribe to my channel and of course support my art here on YouTube with your likes. And I will see you already very soon. Next week, Friday, we are going to transform another doll. And I wish you the very best weekend. Love you guys. Bye.